All right, guys, we ran to Lowe's. What we got, got some fiberglass. He said use a two-before wall, so it's still as good as the foundation wall. I hey, got a new door. He wanted to use synthetic roofing paper. We got 7 16 OSB two-befores. Uh, we got a couple furnace, six-inch caps, because we got two runs here that's uh, open. Air conditioner's leaking a lot of water here. He should probably put a mini gutter on that so it don't splash on our new door like that. We got a little friend Kitty here. Come here, Kitty. Kitty, come here. Here's our old door all rotten, broken glass. We're going to take some of this pine off on the inside edge on both of these door openings. And then we're going to clean this sill off. We're going to put down a foam gasket. We're going to put pressure treated on the sill. Then I'm going to do the front edge of that with through the roof caulk hopefully that'll stick good I want to get as much moisture resistance as possible so I do like through the roof as you can see here it's splashing and this water is getting in even I want that to stop we're not going to cut the slab they don't have the money for that we're just going to clean this up frame up the sides stud at 16 on center this one garage bay here is going to be uh, finished right in solid this one over here, we're going to put an entry door. And it's going to be right here, and it'll clear the pipes. Right, Dawson? And it's going to swing, like, against the fuel tank there. And then they won't use it, only the furnace guy. They got another two doors up here. And then uh, um, we're going to probably use wedge anchors, some type of wedge anchors. And then um, I bent some aluminum. I'm going to do, like, a... Uh, almost a 45 so that any water snow can kind of go away a little bit to do his maximum on the water so we'll get this unloaded and then we're going to take some lunch already because that's how late it's getting we're going to get another dumpster coming today and uh, finish this up here all right i laid out a sill gasket i want to start with that we got to use the materials they had left over so i'm putting a two by six down I'm lining it up flush with the edge of our two before wall. That's going to be the first defense is a sill gasket. And then I'm going to use my Bulldog Extreme here with a 3 8 bit. And then I'm going to put in these wet anchors. There you go, guys. She's raining pretty hard. And look at our floor. Whoever poured that slab did a terrible job. It's about a half inch higher than this floor. And we're trying to build a wall. And the we don't know, you know, water should shed, that slab should have been on the grade the way. It's running right in here. I'm going to do a sill gasket, then I wanted to caulk it, and then I wanted to put window and door flashing and do a 90, and then I wanted to do that aluminum flashing out on that angle. But this is going to be a lot of water, guys. Um... I think the shower it was only going to be a shower but just enough to make a mess here so I won't be able to caulk in this but I wanted to get this sill down today like start framing Dawson's moving all the materials because we're going to end up with inches of water in here I think the best thing to do is to remove that slab but that's not in the budget Alright guys, this is called a sleeve anchor. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole, like so, and I want to I'm gonna hit it down so it just touches. That way we still have room to tighten the nut up. Dad's got the hammer dog extreme drilling holes in the concrete. Oops, bulldog extreme, I meant. Alright, now I'm gonna do these other two.
put some anchors in her. Had weird weather. We got this side, as you saw, put in. I started framing over here, but we had that thunderstorm thing coming through. Doss is sweeping the mud off us from our room. He's just getting it off the pad because when it rains, all this mud's coming back, and I want this cleaned up. He's got a little more cleaning on this stuff to do. And But I doubled up. I had some treated to head under the porch here I used. But I framed out the door opening. That's where I want it. And it's going to clear that pipe nicely. And I did the sill under the door. So that extra inch and a half is going to help. And then we're going to do the flashing, the caulk, the whole deal. We're going to try to get this as waterproof as possible. But he's going to finish cleaning this up. We're winding down here at the end of the day. But I wanted to get as much done as possible. That freak storm messed us up. We still wanted to get a load of wood tonight. All right, guys, we're getting another load, dump trailer load of logs. Um, cut them up with a chainsaw. There's some big logs out there. They didn't do a nice job cutting them down, so um, some of them were still attached. So we brought the chainsaw out, ran out of gas, but we were just able to get another bucket load of logs and uh, pulling in a day here, guys. So what we got done today is dad did a bunch of electrical um, fixed stuff. We, I uh, capped off the dryer vents and um, took off some of the dryer stuffs. Um, I got some framing done, put uh, that roll of uh, blue um, sill gasket down then put a 2x6, try to match this wall, and then we framed out for a door, found a cheap door. And uh, we got our kitty friend here. Looks like my cat, um, Tiger. But uh, we're calling it a here, you guys. Alright, we're at the next day. It's nice out, except it's hot. <laughs> we got a little rain yesterday, remember there. So I drove right down here, so we're not going to track too much. We're going to frame in this wall today. And... Get some OSB on here. See how far we get. Let's start over on this side. I'm going to use up some of these pieces. Wherever they can work. I tightened up their half inch nut on those. I tighten those up. We got an air conditioner they're using upstairs that's dropping all this water where I don't want it because I want to see along this wall today. Can't have wet pavement. So it'd be nice if they could remove that somewhere for now. Just a window air conditioner. But I'm just gonna put some pieces in here because he wants to save on material, I guess. Dawson. Here we go. Gotta show you this guys. I'm ready to put a board up there. Look at that. You guys see what I see? That's a mouse did that. We got the hot lead and the white all bare right there never to be seen again once we put this wall up so we got to fix it Also, they're marking our sheets. We're going to try to do vertical. We're going to try to use the least amount, but I don't want any air gaps. Horizontal might work, but I don't want all them gaps. We're trying to make this airtight as possible. 
and uh, we're gonna try to salvage pieces and so on. So a fun one. Okay, Dawson's cleaning up this wall here. It's all nasty. We're gonna put paper up under there and get this thing when we get it done a little better than it is. And then uh, I got a couple of sheets of sheathing on, trying to use the least amount, keep the seams down, keep them up off the ground so they can't wick any water. Trying to set the camera out here, but it's so hot that it keeps shutting off. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the second sheathing on here, and then we're going to start piecing it. Then I'm going to get out some spray foam, hit the inside edges, make sure there's no leakage, like in between any kind of framing sheathing from the inside. Seal that up before we get our insulation out. We've got two bundles back there and part of one to give us. It's enough to do this wall. Right, Doss is setting it up in the opening there. We got a 38 by 82. Should just squeak in there. You might have to pull the bottom out a couple inches so you can go in and more square. Stand it up level. Should fit in there, all right. Go to your left a couple. You're not up on the board there. I'm making him wrestle it himself. And then we'll check it for plumb level. We might attach it today, but I'm not sure I want to put it in because I want to do this uh, paper on here behind that brick mold. All right, we got, we're going to go around any kind of little gaps like up there. We're going to spray foam. We're going to hit the bottom. So we're going to come around. I want to get this done. I'm going to do a light coat. This is build out. He didn't want me to tear that off. So there's no sheathing there. Just that it's out farther we're gonna we're gonna spray foam this I see a little light there we're gonna spray foam all this stuff little air gaps and this is gonna be tighter before you starts insulating all right dad's phone in all the spots where you can see daylight with spray foam and this will uh, make it airtight and it'll seal off the outdoor weather. Sometimes when they're thick, you gotta do two layers, you know? Well, but he didn't want me to take this stuff off, so we gotta fill it. Probably to put the fiberglass in there. Dawson likes to do fiber balls, no. so he's going to be doing that. No. I hate it. He loves it. He's good at I it. He it. loves it. He knows he's really good at it. I hate it. He thinks it's cotton candy. I'm just hitting it as good as I can because this is built a lot like a pole barn style. Man. Yep, galore here. I just want to put this as tight as we can get it. Any little gaps here would help seal it. I'm going to choose a can up in the middle here. All right, guys, see that daylight hole and all the daylight above this flywood here? We're going to be filling in the spray foam. The water, it was raining yesterday, and the water just flowed right in, in here. It's stupid how they did that concrete out there, but I'm trying to uh, get this wall blocked off from the water to prevent any more flooding in this basement here. But do the best you can. Yeah, we gotta flash it, yeah. Yep. This will keep the critters out. And we're gonna stay put a paper out there for now. I don't know if we're gonna do siding. Not on our list. We didn't want it. And on a tight, tight budget. I guess seal it up right now and that's it. House maybe for sale, we don't know and just get it better. We got it better, didn't we, Dawson? Yeah. Much more better. So here's our framed-in wall with 716 OSB on it. And 
I'm going to put some synthetic roofing paper on the sides, flash it, and... Uh, the reason we chose that synthetic was because it doesn't tear, mm -hmm. can't use felt paper, won't last, and then Tyvek is only good for six months, and I thought, well, the roofing paper is pretty strong. I'd left it out for a year before. I don't know. Nothing is going to last, but I wanted something economical. Right. Tyvek is a good choice, but... I buy a 100 foot roll for a 25 foot room. And too much, I guess. I thought I'd hit some of this second time. Yeah. All right, we threw on your old block for now. Let's see what we got here. Well, that works. They had a little plate, so I put that on there. Our spray foam's expanding still. We can trim that off the next day we're out here. I want to foam around the door. And then they got a big issue up here they don't want to fix now, but water's getting in that corner up here. And I'm just going to, I don't know, shoot some foam in there, I guess. Use up my can. You got some stuff up here and up in here. And I gotta come down this edge and I'm done. So I might as well use my last can of foam on this today, use it up. And I'll foam in around this door. And from the inside, we're gonna take these off the hinges, but hinge protectors. And uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, a little gap around it, I'll fill that up. Hopefully not so much it drips down on the door. It was so hot today that the uh, camera kept shutting off, but I got my foam all the way around. Looks like a couple spots could use a little more, but I wanted to air seal everything the best we could before putting our fiberglass. We're gonna put faced in here. Dawson's gonna staple that on. We're gonna do up on the band joist too and get this opening sealed up a lot better. And then we're going to do that another day. It's getting too hot. We're going to go do a little more log in here. Foam spreading right out. As long as it doesn't curl down, hit my door like there. It did. But I'll scrape that off. And then uh, outside, get out here and look. Oh, it's hot. That air conditioner is dripping down on us up there. We get out here. Definitely looks better than when we got here, guys. So we got our framed in. Treated sill, sill gasket. I bent some flashing. I'm gonna do, uh, it's not quite a 90, um, so it's gonna have a, like a little down force on it. Try to keep some of the water away. And then we'll put, we'll scrape this foam off with a little oscillating tool, cut that off. And then we'll put the uh, paper on bottom going up overlap and go up under the siding. Uh, there's some issues up there. They said, don't worry about them. So I guess I'm not worrying about them. But uh, we got this pad it's pretty much cleaned off. We're going to sweep it off today and be done with it. Maybe it'll rain over the weekend, wash this off. Got a little bit of debris to pick up. There's some rot up in this outside corner. I'm not going to worry about it. They left that downspout off for, looks like they taped it even. Been off for years probably, pouring right here. And... My flashings, I've been up some that I had. I didn't want to go buy a roll for 150 bucks, so I just bent up some of these. <coughs> ah, dusty. And um, we're going to set them along the bottom, tack them on, and then we'll caulk them, and then we'll continue the next day here. So that's what she looks like from the outside. And we got some cleanup to do. Hey, owner's down there. I'm going to go talk to him a second. Well, this might be our last load, but there's quite a bit in here, guys. Not super neat, but some of it's 12 foot. And we brought the forks back, so here's some of it we got. We got a load of logs over there. We got a load on the trailer we got to unload over there. And then we got another load of shorts over there. I'm getting a little problem trying to find out where I want them. Where do you want them, Dawson? We gotta put them somewhere. Dawson using through the roof caulk. That's our second barrier against uh, water. 
We've got the sill gasket, the treated plate. We kept the sheathing up so it can't get wet. Now he's, it's hard to reach under the door, but he's just making sure he's doing a layer of that. And then he's gonna clean off the excess. Um, then we're gonna do um, some flashing and it's gonna be something like this. It's gonna have a, a bend on it. Instead of it being down flat against the ground, we're gonna put a little pressure on it, push down on it, and that'll get the water to wick away and we'll run the paper over top of that. All right, we put the flashing along the bottom, caulked that with that through the roof. Put the trim around the door, got it over the uh, paper so that it's waterproof. And we got the paper stacked going up under the loose vinyl up there. And he said, leave it. So that's what we're doing, guys. We're going to fix the edges, get it so it can't blow off. And then we're going to move inside and insulate. Found this uh, downspout laying in the weeds. Hooked that up to the gutter. He had this piece of pipe out in the weeds and I threw that on there to get the water away. Hopefully that'll help. Dawson's gonna finish up these nails. I wish he'd hurry. Say hi, Dawson. Hi. All right, we're putting bad insulation in here. We're putting R15 because it's a two before. It's a maximum we can get. Dawson's doing the vapor barrier, getting them tucked tight. And he loves insulation, right? Look how happy he is. Let's see. He's not too dusty, but let me see how happy he is. He's sweating from being outside, but it's humid in here. And he's, we're getting this tightened up, and we should be finished up here in a little while. We're just gonna get this much better. All right, here's a finish of the outside. Looks good. They may put siding of some sort, or you know, I don't know. Don't really care, but I just wanted it waterproof in case it rained or whatever. We went back through after stapling and stuff and put roofing nails too so that it will stay on in the wind. All that water down there is from the air conditioner. Um, they also had me look at something up here. This is a deck. It's about, I don't know, it's over my head here. I'm gonna try to go up these stairs. Hope the snakes aren't up here. We had snakes the other day. Hope they don't collapse. They don't feel very strong. Ouch. They got a problem, they said, with a... Can't get up here. Vines or something here. Yeah, this deck is all sagging. Ooh. That's what we're looking at, guys. A sill. Hope this deck don't collapse. Uh, and I worry about bees. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this deck is really weak. I don't know, but the uh, door itself, you can see right into the addition on, I don't know what it is, like a sunroom or something. Said they don't use it, but you can't really use it. The deck, yeah, I think it was sort of attached, but here's the bottom of the door. And it's a French door, it's all rusted out. And then here's the sill plate and there's a band joist down here Ooh. and it's gone there's the end of the joist and the siding's going down with it here so see the angle of that siding so that texture 111 sagging down and let's see what's going on up here so it had texture 111 and they put the vinyl over it. A lot of times if you don't flash it right, water gets down behind stuff. Does damage before you see it, but um, this man's 80, almost 90. And so he doesn't come out here, doesn't even come out in this room. But this is a big deal. I think the deck would have to come out away. And then it doesn't look like there's any center support for the deck either. Probably can't get the sag out because it'll take a while to jack it up again should bolt it to the house uh i don't know pretty rough i'm gonna take a picture underneath and yeah, this is a job you have to have an imagination on i guess and will to be able to get through it it's tough uh 
up underneath here. Ooh, the blocks are tipping over. They're sitting on a metal grate, that's gonna hold well. And they're leaning, and there's not much holding it unless you get these briars out of the way. So it's an overhang on the house, and it's all come down. Probably the deck water ran over to it and brought it. There's not many posts holding this thing up. Where are they? Yeah, they're few. Don't look like any on the corner over there. This is a wrap, guys. We got her done. It's hot. The air conditioner's dripping down here. Dawson went through, attached the sides pretty good. Um, you saw the project we did here. Dawson finished up the insulation in here. I cut it, he attached it, and the electric got cleaned up. This insulation hanging in here is not necessary now because they used to be an electric house, and now it's uh, fuel oil, and so you really don't want an insulated floor. You want your basement to stay warm. And so by putting this insulated door on, watch how dark, see? Close this door up, Dawson. It's like super tight from what it was before. See that? really nice so um, got one window down here so everything looks good guys we're gonna head out of here and hopefully the next job's not gonna be so what's the word Dawson disgusting Nasty, yeah. yeah hopefully it's a little bit cleaner so remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one